welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all of our first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray that the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. Let's start off with our Philly testimonies. Philly, we back once again. I'm standing next to Brandon and Miss Abigail Hunt. How you doing, Sean? I'm good. How are y'all? How are y'all? But listen, I have a serious question for y'all this morning. And the question of the day is, man, are y'all the founders of that Hunt's Ketchup, man? Because you put that on some french fries and them things be good, bro. Listen, man, my people. <laughs> no, that's not our people. I don't know who the people is, but, you know, I, I don't mind being part of the family. If y'all want to call me for a deal or something, we can work something out. I'll be part of the family. Yeah, because that ketchup is the bomb. I'm right. just saying. I'm just saying. But on a, on a serious note. But that was a serious note. <laughs> <laughs> the question of the day is, who first invited you to Philadelphia? Oh, man. Uh, it's a long story, but I'm going to make it short. Uh, so I started a new job. And uh, the guy that was actually supposed to be training me that week wound up getting sick, by the grace of the Lord. And uh, Mike Barnett wound up driving me uh, that day and training me that day. And uh, he actually popped in one of the CDs. You know, we had talked about the Lord and everything that I'd been going through and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he popped in a CD and I heard Pastor Omar for the first time. And, you know, little did he know, early that morning, around 4 o'clock in the morning, I was on the passenger seat crying and repenting, I, you know, I was on the side, he ain't see, you know, but when I came up, I was like, yeah, man, whew, the trash stank, but yeah, we was in a trash truck. I got you. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you was literally taking out the trash? Yeah, we was driving trash trucks, man, he, he was training me that day on the, on the truck, man, because the other guy was sick, and so that was the Lord, and uh, I, ain't, I didn't go exactly right after, but I went to Mardell's to get a Bible, I think that was books up books in me it was somewhere with the, the books place you know mm -hmm. and uh Malvo's mom was actually the lady that sold me the bible and I was I was talking to her about everything that had been going on and she was like well you know there's this place uh Philadelphia Christian Church you know it it, it, it starts at seven and it was like six o'clock and I was like man I'm gonna go past by that's the second time I heard about Philadelphia <laughs> and so uh I came in and I heard, I think Parker was preaching that day, and I was like, man, I went to, uh, I used to work with Parker a while back. I said, man, this gotta be the Lord. And you know, I've been here ever since, bro. I got you, and you, Miss Abigail, what about you? Um, the first person that actually invited me was my cousin, uh, Vernon Jenkins. Uh, Y'all may know him as Duck. Oh, Lord, not him, please, Lord, not him. <laughs> yes, um, so um, Duck and uh, his wife, uh, Chantel, actually used to come to my dorm room. I was at UL and pick me up. So I came a couple times for Bible study um, a while back, but um, I officially started coming um, around when I met him. Um, you know, the Lord had me in, on my journey where um, when I came back um, and I don't know, it was just something about the word I heard at that point in my life, um, coming back to Philadelphia. She like them Philly boys at first, no. Because <laughs> we some rough riders. Yeah, you know, I had that, you know, look, huh, so she met a Philly boy, you know what I'm saying? Some <laughs> rough riders. Right? But anyway, mm -hmm. um, you know, when, when I came back and at that point in my life and I heard that word, um, you know, I was like, wow. So I guess technically at first it was um, Duck and, you know, Chantel, and then because of him. I got you. So one more question. Only because of me and the Lord. <laughs> right. Yo, yeah, right. The Lord. Right. Right. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. He's here for your boy, you know. Ah. Anyway. All right, so the second question is. <laughs> Look, y'all, wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to pause. We're going to have to pause. See, you never know what you're gonna get. Never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> That's how we do at Philly. <laughs> you good, Pastor? So I have another question for y'all. Okay. A brief intermission. Yeah, but it was good though. The next question is: When y'all first came and sat down and was able to get the word up close and personal what was that experience like 
I'm gonna let her go first. Man, it was um, it was like wow, like you had that you have that wow moment. It was, you know, you you walk in and it's like literally like the phrase like stepping on your toes, like you know my toes were obliterated, and you know and I needed that that truth in my life. So you know I walked in and I was like wow that was that was what I needed. You know. Gotcha. And what about you, Mr. Hunt? Catch up, man. Y'all hit me up if y'all want a catch up deal. But uh, no, man, the first time, like I said, I, you know, I heard it on CD at first and, you know, I was repenting in tears and everything. But being here in person, man, it was just like, you know, it, it was the cutting, the stepping on the toes, but it was also refreshing, you know, to see somebody with a, with a closeness to God like that and the willingness to preach the truth. You know, it was refreshing to my spirit. It was like a food to my soul. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, you know, it was, you know, it, it had a new life feel to it. And so, you know, I enjoyed it, man. And I knew this is what the Lord had me. And, you know, like I said, I've been here ever since. That's what's up. You get one taste of Philly and you never leave. Hey, man, you're going to need a new line, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Let's give a happy belated birthday to Alicia Ledette. May the Lord bless thee, keep thee, make his face shine upon thee, be gracious unto thee, lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. Happy birthday. True Vision would like for you to cast your vote as Solo Artist of the Year for the 2020 IRAA Awards. To cast your nomination, please visit IRAAAwards.com. Let's give a happy fifth anniversary to Kevin and Dr. Elizabeth Chavis on yesterday, December 21st. Happy anniversary. Also, let's give a happy 34th birthday to Aisha Barra. Happy birthday. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's Philly Office One at Yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. This week here at Philadelphia is Family Week. The purpose of Family Week is to give you the opportunity to spend some quality time with your family. Ministry is important, but the family is your first ministry. We will still have Monday through Friday noonday prayer. You can stop in for your lunch break. A special Tuesday Bible study will start at a different time. Tuesday at 8 p.m., join us as we celebrate the birth of the Savior of Israel and the world, our Lord, Yahshua, Jesus Christ. If you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Search for PCC Lafayette. Thursday School of Prayer will be postponed due to Family Week. The Bible tells us that we should weep with those who weep and rejoice with those who rejoice. This month, the Fire Ministry would like to extend an exclusive invitation to all those people who are suffering with grief and loss during this time. We'll be meeting 7 o'clock every Thursday after prayer. God bless. Hope to see you. Reignite the fire on Thursdays right here at Philadelphia. Reminder that Philadelphia t-shirts are now available to pre-order at the table in the foyer. Sign up after service. Saints of God, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time.